So CD Projekt Red has just confirmed that everything in Cyberpunk 2077 will be pretty much destructible in the environment. And that is one crazy news lads. Now this information is coming from a video game journal website named Tweak Town where they basically said Cyberpunk 2077 will have breathtaking environmental destruction. The CD Projekt Red says that they have put a lot of emphasis on making destructible environments into Cyberpunk 2077. Now let's just go ahead and take a look at what Powell Capella basically teased about how the environmental destruction is going to be working. We put a lot of emphasis on having destructible environment overall in our game. Players will experience things ranging from very simple. So for example, if you have a shootout in bar and you're shooting the environment, you will see glasses exploding or things like beer bottles disintegrating on bullet impact. We wanted to have that feeling that basically after you're done with the shootout, the place where you had the shootout is completely destroyed. So we want players to actually use some weapons to destroy these covers so the enemies are at a higher disadvantage. We also have destructible glass in the game and all those things give you the feeling that the projectiles from your weapon actually carries a lot of power. And this also extends to stuff like you will be able to see bullet decals on all the things that are present in the level. You'll also be able to see different hit reactions from different objects in the world like for example if you hit a pipe with water inside it then you will basically see the water sprouting out from that one specific spot which your bullet hit or whatever weapon you're using basically hit the pipe now the very interesting thing is that he also said that this extends to nearly every object we have in the game which means that everything in the game will be completely destructible in cyberpunk 2077 and that is massive news ladies and gentlemen because it seems like CD project red is actually absolutely ready to blow all our minds off with the amount of features they're bringing in with cyberpunk 2077 now also since we're speaking about all the destruction and weapons in the game there is also something really cool that Pavel Kapala has revealed and this is coming from game radars article which basically says you can become so good with a weapon in cyberpunk 2077 that it will actually feel like you're using an aimbot now dude honestly speaking that is freaking insane because you can actually feel like your player has aimbot in the game. Now what the lead gameplay designer Michael Dabrowski basically says is that the more you start using a weapon in the game, your character V will actually start getting better at using this weapon. So this is going to be some kind of a dynamic thing in the game. So the more you start using a weapon, the more comfortable V starts getting with that particular weapon. And eventually it seems like you're going to be getting to a point where your character V will be so comfortable at using that weapon weapon that you're going to be feeling like you're aimbotting in the game and that's freaking insane dude. So that is how much the dynamic improvements of your character customization is going to be working out in this game. Now this is not it guys because we have more information coming from comic book games where the lead designer Miles Toast has basically said how the RPG system is going to be working out in Cyberpunk 2077. Now this is what Miles Toast had to say. I think that people tend to forget that Cyberpunk 2077 is an RPG first and foremost. So customization and equipment choices, making choices in the skills you have, the talents and how your character looks, how you choose the dialogues in the game, it is of course the center stage experience of this game. But I think that some people look at this game and think, oh man, it's just a first person and has guns and that is a very surface level assessment because he thinks that this game has a much more deeper role playing experience than what we've already seen in Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. And it seems like CD Projekt Red is already confident that that the RPG system in Cyberpunk 2077 is going to be way better than what they've already achieved with a game like Witcher 3. And if you guys have played Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, then you would already know that it was one of the best RPG games that has ever released. Even in the year 2020, you will still enjoy that game absolutely. So I am super excited for this game to see how CD Projekt Red has progressed with how the RPG system is going to be working out with Cyberpunk 2077. Now, of course, we already know that there are three different life paths that you can choose in in Cyberpunk 2077 and it seems like that is going to be one of the hardest things to choose when you're going to start your first playthrough of Cyberpunk 2077 because there are three different life paths and all the three life paths have their own unique storylines and their own unique take to the game and I would love to know on which are you guys going to be picking would you be playing as Nomad or Street Kid or Corpo let me know in the comments down below I'm kind of confused between Nomad and Corpo because these are the two life paths that I absolutely thought was really interesting interesting. 
But eventually, at the end of the day, I will be playing all the three life paths. But I would love to know on which you guys are going to be picking out on your first playthrough. So let me know all of your choices in the comments down below. And also, if you guys want to see more Cyberpunk 2077 videos like this every single day, then make sure to go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And also, turn that little bell notification on. Because if you guys don't turn that on, then you're basically not going to be receiving any of the notifications of my daily uploads, which I basically do on this channel. So make sure you guys go ahead, smack that subscribe button, and also smack that little bell icon so you get notified every time my video goes live and also if you guys enjoyed today's video then make sure to go ahead and smack that like rating because that absolutely helps support my channel and the video as well so please don't forget to take a few seconds off your time and make sure to go ahead and smack a like rating with that being said i hope you guys have a blast already and i'll see you guys on tomorrow's video till then take care fans and goodbye